Alright folks, time got away from me just a little bit. Got darker, wanted to be out here a little bit quicker, but we had dinner and all that, and I got out here just a little bit later than I wanted to. Okay, what are we doing? We are camping out. People keep saying that this channel is not about camping anymore. So it hasn't been about camping for quite some time. I actually, the last time I camped, camp camp, not in the camper, but camped out, I was in, we had purchased the property, and I brought my truck up here, nice shiny truck, with a 10 man tent by myself. Nobody else wanted to come camping with me. It was all by myself. Okay? So, I came up here. Nothing was up here. Nothing had been done. Uh, I think I saw some trees around the well. I'll put a picture right here. Okay? That's last time I've been camping. Camping, camping. Not in the camper. Okay, so here it is. Maybe two years, maybe even a little longer than two years. And I'm out here camping again. Okay, I am camping. Still camping. We're going to do a beer of the weekend. It's a little dark out here. Uh, what is this beer of the weekend? If this gets too long, I'm going to shorten it up and do beer of the weekend separate. But here we go. All right, Sadie, what do we have here? For the viewers what is the beer that we picked for the weekend stephanie actually got me these beers this beer is a pacifico clara okay okay i'm going to read some information here all right what is pacifico beer as according to wikipedia Cerveza Pacifico Clara, better known as Pacifico, is a Mexican Pilsner style beer. Cerveza Pacifica is, all, is named so because the Pacifico Brewery is located in the Pacific Ocean port city of Mazatan in the state of Sinaloa, Mexico. Okay, it's a 4.5 volume, 4.5 alcohol. Color Clear, introduced 1899, country of origin, Mexico, manufacturer, Grupo Modelo, okay, yeah, there's history here, I'm not going to go over, but it is actually, Pacifico Brewery was bought by Mexican brewing giant Grupo Modelo in 1954, which was later acquired by the Belgian-Brazilian Analyzer Bush and Bev Company. Okay? So, I don't know how well you can see my face. It's pretty dark, I know. Just bear with me. We're going to make this a quick one. Okay? Oh, Sadie. Got my handy dandy Gerber. Sadie's going to sleep out here with me tonight, too. Let's see if I can find the right tool. dark out here folks. That might work. Don't want none of those. I'm going to try this one. This is bound to open it. Watch it be a twist off. Wouldn't that be hilarious? Hopefully in video editing I can get some of this lit up because all I got over here is a little campfire. There we go. Alright Sadie. It smells good. It smells like a Mexican beer. Mmm. Smells good. Okay. What do we do today Sadie? We uh we helped mom a lot with the flower bed. Seems like that's all we've been doing today. I did a little section, a little corner onto the side by the steps. 
Uh, did that a couple days ago. And today, me and Mom weeded the front flower bed. Then we went to South Haven, Mississippi. And went to the Lowe's there. It was absolute craziness. Okay? Not good stuff. Craziness. Everybody and their grandma was in the garden center. We got some uh, edge stones. I'll show you that tomorrow. Okay? Alright. So, then we had dinner. Mom made, uh, percent chance of rain tonight all hours so hopefully we don't get any rain we're under some big pine trees here all right oh man yeah buddy yeah sadie That is pretty good. Okay. This tastes a lot like most other Mexican beers. Except for it's got a sweeter taste to it, I think. Tastes a whole lot sweeter. That's good after a hard day's work. Out in the woods. It's like 70 degrees, but there's a nice breeze blowing through. turn the light on or something so you can see me because I don't know how well this is going to turn out in editing. Okay. Pacifico. Good stuff, Sadie. I brought Sadie's dog bed out here. Put it on a piece of cardboard. She's going to sleep out here with me. Uh-huh. Not too worried about the heat. The lighting is going to out. Not too worried. It's supposed to only get down to like 57. I think I will be good. I've got a full blanket just in case. But right now it feels great. And this beer tastes good. Okay. And I think I'm going to sleep pretty good tonight. Nice breeze. Good beer. Right off the bat, I am going to give this beer a 10 out of 10. It's that good. That's pretty good. Okay. So it tastes like a lot of other Mexican beers. Except for it's just a little bit sweeter, I think. Okay. So try some out. Pacifico. Okay. I'm not going to give Sadie any. I like it that much. She can't have any. She can have some water. We bought her. I brought her a dog water bowl out here. Okay. So... Chances are, as dark as it is, I may not do any more videotaping tonight. I originally wanted to do some astro photography, but it's cloudy out, so I don't think we're going to see any stars out tonight. I may be able to get some pictures with the campfire in my hammock. We'll see what happens, okay? So, if I don't see you back tonight, thanks for watching. Okay? Okay. That's good stuff, Sadie. But you can't have any.
right, folks, there you have it. Uh, we made it last night. I drink lots of water. Um, that orange canteen you've seen uh, in pictures, I'll try to get it on there. That very may well be the same canteen I used when I was littler, like 9 or 10 or something. My parents gave me that. And I think it's the same one they had when we used to go hiking and probably did some horseback riding with it in Colorado, areas like that. I think that's the same canteen. My parents gave me that, so I brought that, filled it up. It holds a bunch of water. Sadie's over here drinking water. She's got her water. Uh, I ended up moving her bed closer to the hammock because she wasn't laying in it. She wanted to lay right next to me, so I ended up moving her bed over here. I uh, said so I drink a bunch of water. That made me have to get up every three hours to utilize the latrine. And when I did that, I put some extra firewood on. So my fire did not run out. Okay. Overall, it was pretty good camping experience. Uh, we're not far from the house. Maybe a hundred yards. You don't have to go far to go camping. You live, live in town and got a backyard, you can camp out in your backyard. Okay? So the plan is, kind of started on the home base. The plan is we'll try to move farther out as we go. By the time we're done, we'll be camping on the dark side of the moon or something. Okay? So, started here. Work our way out. Uh, expertise our bush crafting skills. You saw I started the fire last night with a torch. Next time we'll do paper and matches and then next time we'll do uh, try to do some flint and steel or something okay uh, said I just brought the bare essentials out here if I needed something else I could walk to the house and get it okay okay uh, that overmount I think it's overmount uh, I bought that the other day from Amazon it seems like it uh, works pretty good. It says it can be used directly on flame. That's what we did. Um, let me see here. Must have closed out. Anyhow, it's Overmont, I think. I'll put a link in there. Picture of it on Amazon. I got it for $15.99, delivered two days. First time using it. Did what it was supposed to. Brewed me some coffee. Took me about four filters to get all the coffee into here. So, that is it. Sadie, you got anything to add? Okay, camping out of debt. We went camping. All right, hammock camping. Uh, Comfort-wise, how was it comfort-wise? I'll tell you, right off the bat, it was more comfortable than sleeping in a tent the first time I was here. With no padding, I had a couple blankets. That was a terrible night's sleep. Was this an excellent night's sleep? Uh, it wasn't perfect. Uh, would I rather be at home in my warm bed, snoozing next to my hot wife? Yeah, I would, but this here is pretty good. Hammock camping, if you haven't done it, this is pretty comfortable. This may be the best night's sleep I've gotten camping, okay? Under the stars, nice cool breeze. I still got shorts on, short sleeve shirt. I had the wool blanket. I made it the whole night through, didn't get shivers. It was pretty comfortable, nice breeze, okay? So, if you haven't tried hammock camping, this rig I got here is maybe 50 bucks. Uh, I got was gifted the hammock, but I looked it up, it was about 30 bucks. And the straps, 
They're about 12, 15 bucks. So, other than other camping essentials, this is pretty comfortable. Okay, the sky's the limit on your hammocks. They go up and up and up and have mosquito nets and tarps. I didn't do a tarp. I may get a tarp later. But I like being able to look up and see the stars. So, they came out. So, I think that's it now. Thanks for watching. Camping out of debt. Uh, it's hot. The great turtle hunter found another one two days later after our camping adventure. That's four. The great turtle hunter found a pair of turtle lovers.